Hey, Dad. I'll be hanging out with Helen after school today, so I won't be back for lunch. Okay. Hey, what's OOTD? Outfit of the day. And low-key flex? Cool! You're checking out my videos. I don't understand your videos. <laughs> That's because you're old, Dad. What's important is my 800 followers get it. And that, Boomer, is a low-key flex. <laughs> low-key flex. It means to show off. Subtly. Wow. Hey, and what about your vegan stuff? Just taking a break, posting videos of me and Helen hanging out right now. I think the viewers like our chemistry. Apparently, they really like your relaxed vibes. Nice. <laughs> Nikki, let's go. Hey, Helen. Yeah, what's up? KSUH wants to meet us. Discuss Halo again. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll see you there. Bye. Dr. Shen, what are you doing here? I don't know. I, I mean, I came here for something, but I don't remember what it was. <laughs> don't you hate it when it happens? Anyway, Ella's inside. We're looking for her. Who said I was looking for Ella? Hello? Yeah, yeah, I know about a meeting. I'm on my way, just give me 15 minutes. Yeah, one five, one five. Thank you so much. Okay, see you later. So, KSUH wants me to go down for an interview today. So, last minute? Um, Shira, can you just tell me honestly, did you put in a good word for me to secure the interview? I wouldn't have done that. In fact, I've been so busy, I forgot you applied for the Haler account manager position. See? Nothing to do with Shira. Aren't you glad you applied? Okay, so I need to go home, change and prep for the interview. Yeah. Ibu, you're okay to stay here, right? You go. Don't worry about me. Ibu, what do I wear though? Zara, you look nice in anything. Don't worry about that. Thanks, Ibu. Keep your focus on your interview. Okay. You better go. Go luck for later. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. Bye. So, what's the deal between you and Dr. Shen? Did you break up with him or something? There's nothing between us. Then, why does it look like you're avoiding each other? It's all in your head. How can we avoid each other when we need to work on the nurse's uniform together? Sarif? Yes, Scott. What's up? Have you heard from Haris? No. Why? He didn't reply to my text. I, I was wondering how he is. Maybe he's just busy sorting out his father's matters. Don't need to bother with him. I'm sure he's fine. Grandpa! Uncle Ho! Morning. Hello, Maxine. Give Grandpa a proper hello first. Maxine, today I got no egg tart, so I give you Yutia, okay? What do you have to say? Thank you, Auntie Miwan. You are welcome. Your grandfather's moods are always get better whenever he sees you. That's because I'm cute. <laughs> <laughs> That's the joy of having grandchildren, isn't it, Derek? Ay, uh, if only I'm so lucky. This one, uh, how old already are still no girlfriend? How to have grandchildren? Uncle Hawk, why don't you have a girlfriend? Maxine, don't be rude. She's not being rude, just curious. We were just talking about how being single, Emily. Maxine, I don't have a girlfriend because I'm busy. That's no excuse. Hurry up, Hawk. Don't keep your mother waiting. Otherwise, she'll be very disappointed. Yeah, listen to Mrs. Shelley. Quickly go and find a girlfriend. Quickly get married. Come on, Maxine, let's go. After see her teacher today. Okay. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. -bye. Bye.
Compliments to the chef, as usual. Thanks. Sorry, uh, my son is very busy in the kitchen today. How's the budget from yesterday, by the way? Harris's father. Hmm. He didn't make it. Oh. Is she going for the funeral? Don't think so. Oh, I thought she and that guy seemed rather close. Harris? She cannot tahan him. Many times when they talk, they end up quarrelling. Rose? She's usually so non-confrontational. That's why I said she can't stand him. Thanks. Look, it's not my fault that Shen was late for his meeting. I was on my way here. Then the next thing I knew, I was outside. All good. Did the third altar take over? Was he looking for Ella? It's not like I can ask him. I thought Shen was working on reaching out to him in therapy. It's been months and still no headway. Maybe he can tell that I don't want to meet him either. Then for Ella's safety, it's not just you. Shen too has to stop seeing her. The role is very important. That's why the CEO is personally interviewing everyone. <sighs> wow. Uh, okay, you just made me ten times more nervous. Okay, the interview is in there. Thank you. Hello? You want the report now? Why so urgent? Hey, um, do I go in now? No, 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 no. You gave me a month. What do you expect? Huh? Get it done as quick. So where do you see yourself in fact? Hi, Louis. Sorry, boss, sorry, boss. I told you to wait outside. I'm so sorry. I didn't know that someone... Don't you know how to follow instructions? You don't call the CEO by his name. You call him Mr. Louis Shelley. Who do you think you are? Hopeless. There are many gaps in your employment history. Tell me, what were you doing when you're not working full time? I was a stay-at-home wife, um, and as you know, I was a freelancing for Kenneth, Kansas Studios. We're looking for a social media account manager, not a game designer. Tell me, why should we hire you for this position? So, um, I prepared a social campaign proposal for Pinson Boss Tahui. Can I share it with you? Sure, go ahead. So, um, it's called A Day in the Life of the Handsome Boss and the whole idea is to turn Handsome into an online celebrity by posting short clips of him on social media every day. Just so you know, we're very careful about the image of our hair influencers and what they post online. Yeah, so um, the videos will be of Handsome doing something in the shop to promote the business. Like what? For example? We could film him um, making it that way, setting up the stall. Yeah, I get it. But what is the point of these videos? Uh, to... To... Um, to bring the audience into Handsome's world and Handsome Boss Tahui vicariously. Like, um, you know, if you always see sushi in your social feed, you might have a sudden craving for sushi. That's so true. It always happens to me. Yes. <laughs> As you know, Handsome Boss is a social enterprise. What do you propose we do to bring awareness to that aspect of the business? Um. Sorry, I have to run to another meeting. Beverly, can you get this up, please? Of course, Mr. Shelley. Well, Zara, we have asked you a lot of questions. Do you have any for us? Yeah, and the material is quite thick. Sometimes on a rainy day, it's really hard to dry. Oh, and these pockets. I wish they were deeper. So we're also talking about function here. Thank you for your feedback. Sure. So when did you start working for KSUH again? I'm just working with KSUH and Dr. Shen on the uniforms for GFP and the free cleaning. Jenny, Mrs. Tan in Ward 1 needs help getting changed. OK, I'll go now. Say hi to Dr. Shen for me. Sure. You've been meeting Shen? You didn't mention it to me. You didn't ask. You do know you're putting Shen in a difficult position by working with him. You should stay away from him. Firstly, it's purely business. And secondly, Yang was the one who broke up with me. So there's no reason for me to avoid Shen. 
So, what do you think? It's a great offer. But you haven't exactly met all of our eco requirements. True, but we have made headway. But these things take time. We've embarked on a GFPH Green project working towards SIO certification. We can and will incorporate whatever green initiatives you have into our CSR programs. This is my promise to you. That sounds great. But I bet you sounded great to my dad too when you bought over Kenster Studios. I know where you're coming from, but these are two completely different matters. I hope you will objectively consider this offer. It's a good one that would serve your interests and ours. Hey, hey. how's the PTM? It's okay. Yeah, I hate faking I'm impressed with children's artwork. <laughs> Where are you rushing off to? I've got a meeting outside. With who? Brothers Y Plumbing. Aren't they beneficiaries of the KSF Social Enterprise Funding? We've got some stuff to iron out. Well, why don't they come here? We're giving them all that money. There's only the two of them, and they can't afford to close the office just to meet me here. Really? What are you implying, James? That I'm going out for... Think what you want. I have to go. So awful, handsome. Can't be that bad. I was in there for only 10 minutes, and Louis got me at every question. I mean, he obviously wanted to make me malu. Why? Remember when I was an intern at KSUH, and Louis made a pass at me, and then later on found out I was underage, and then got giving me a shelling for it? And I bet he's just waiting for the perfect time to get back at me. Why? I, I don't know. I mean, why else would KSUH call me in for an interview, right? When my CV sucks, my degree is totally unrelated to social media. And as he puts it, there are gaps in my employment history. Hello? Yes? Are you sure you got the right person? This is Zara Hassan. Oh. Okay, um... I'll see you in a bit. Okay, bye. Yes, you just called me. They asked me to go in for a second interview. That means you did okay. Uh, I guess. Okay, um, okay, I'll see you later. Good luck. Thanks. Shen and Ella shouldn't be near each other. I've told Yang, but he thinks it's fine because Shen's the one meeting Ella, not him. They both should be staying away from her. We still don't know how this third altar is triggered. This is going to end badly. You don't think so? This is his, their life. What right do we have to tell them what to do? We've already stopped Shen from doing his dream job. Do we want to take this away from him as well? So Zara, one area we are concerned about is your lack of experience. Look, if you're so concerned about my lack of experience, why interview me in the first place? And are you getting back at me because I rejected you when you asked me out when I first interned here? What? Sarah, we called you back. It's because Mr. Shelley wants to offer you the position. Looks like you were right, Beverly. She's still very rash. Wait, wait, wait. I, I got the job? Actually, you just made me reconsider my offer. No, 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 no. no. Please don't. Uh, Louis, I mean, sorry, Mr. Shelley, I am so sorry. I. I, I don't know what, what came over me. <laughs> Dr. Shen. Hi. You finally remember what you're supposed to get. Excuse me? Uh, you forgot what you needed from here when I bumped into you this morning? Yeah, um, just my coffee. Uh, Dr. Shen, I know it's not my business, but I don't think I can forgive myself if I don't say this for Ella's sake. I think she's still in love with you. Ella told you that? Well, not exactly in those words, but I can tell that she's not in love with Avery. He's more of her rebound guy. If you really don't have feelings for her anymore, I respect that. But if you still have feelings for her, then don't make her suffer like this. You don't know what you're talking about. Right. Mind my own business. Sorry. What? What do you mean your wife is suing you over the boutique? <sighs> She's she's very upset about the divorce being finalized. Trying to get Sutrinium off the ground is stressful enough. I don't need this. I know, I know. I'm so sorry, okay? I'm sorry.
being difficult. Hey, nothing wrong with sticking to your principles. I know how strongly you feel about saving the environment and KSUH dropping your dad's company. To be fair, he's right. They are two separate things. I was hoping to use Hela to push my environmental message across. These changes are a work in progress, and he did promise more. So you think I should take it? If you want. The money is good. That's how these big corporations lure you in. Best to stick to our principles and not kowtow to them. Otherwise, we're just as bad as them. Uncle Lewis, I'm sorry, but we've decided not to take up your offer. Sent. I know we won't regret this. Thanks. Oh, uh, I better get going. My dad's waiting for me for dinner. <laughs> See you. See you. Hey, Mr. Shelley. This is Helen. Hey, I got Nina's text. Are you guys really sure of your decision? To be honest, I'm still interested in joining Hila. Then you'll need to convince Nina too. It's either both of you or none at all. You should consider yourself very, very lucky. I do. Well, please note that you'll be on probation for a year. I understand. Well, if you want to take the job, please sign here. Um, so, what time do I come in tomorrow? Tomorrow? I'm supposed to take you on the grand tour of the office right now. Oh, um, it's all right. I mean, I've been here like a, a million times, so I, I know my way around. Louis specifically told me to bring you around the office. He wants you to meet the other staff as well. Let's go. I knock off in 10 minutes. Okay. Fancy running into you here. Hi, Mom. Where's Maxine? She's in the washroom. Good, we can join you then. Unless you want to run over to Boss Lady. Uh, why would I? Well, he wants very really fond of Maxine. Who wouldn't be? Why don't you order? Jessica. My, my. How cozy. Derek, should I be worried that you're with your ex? You got a bee in your bonnet, Jessica. No, no, not at all. I was just thinking about our family history. You know, of broken marriages and divorces. And affairs. Hmm. I should check on Maxine. She's taking too long in the washroom. Thank you. Well, do enjoy. Togetherness is such a rarity these days. It's young. I need your help. What happened? I think I blacked out. The third altar? I'm not sure, but there's blood on my hands. You're hurt? Call Ella now. Where are you? I'll come and get you. No, I'm fine. Just make sure she's okay. Now. Okay, I'll call you back. Hey, Ella. How are you doing? I'm good. What's up? Just calling to check if you're okay. Why? What happened? And your friend, Avery? He's fine when I saw him just now. Is this about Young? Yes. Ella, there's something I need to show you. Can you come to my office? Sure. Luis, thanks for giving Zara the job. It's what she needs to move forward. I didn't do it as a favour. <laughs> That's even better. But thank you anyway. Excuse me. Here you go. You're Miss Young. You're still helping out here? For now, yes. Once in a while. Anyway, I want to thank you for the opportunity and apologise for what happened earlier. 
It wasn't you with the baggage, but me. Apology accepted. Thank you so much. I promise I won't let you down. Well, don't thank me yet. I expect you to hit the ground running. <laughs> I will. The third alter did this after Young broke up with me? Yes. This is the reason Young broke up with you. He wanted to protect you from him. Is Young alright? He's okay for now. But who knows for how long. It seems like the more you talk to Shen or Yang, the more upset he gets. We don't know what he'll do the next time he finds himself alone with you. So do yourself and Shen a favour. Okay, stay away from him and Yang. You worry too much. A hawk is a responsible young man. You've done a good job with him. I have to thank you. <laughs> hawk is doing well because of James. He got so many contracts from him. One thing about James, he only works with people he trusts. Hey, yeah. Tell him I don't trust Hawk so much. He's already so busy making money and got no time for me. That's not a bad thing, is it? Yeah. Uh, uh, sorry, I got a customer. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>